So, when you first start designing, look at this 3x3. Three three. See the line that's drawn on it? It's perfectly in half. So, if you were to take this 3x3, three three, and in an imaginary space, you were to slice it perfectly along this line, so the cube was cut in half, what would you see? Well, um, this is a good opportunity to stop and draw what you think you would see if you did if you cut Rubik's cube. So stop right now, draw a piece of paper where you can see it, because I'm about to show you what you would see. So this here is a square, right? So yes, you would see a square. Um, now draw what mechanism you would what you would think you would see. So you know, all right, the pieces are split here because like this is an edge, this is a center, this is an edge, right? Like that on every side. And the center is look kind of like this, right? The, on each side. That's what you would see. You can see how this kind of corresponds with an edge and this kind of corresponds to the center. You can pop open a Rubik's Cube and look at it if you're having trouble seeing that. Um, basically, that is what we call a cross-section. Um, but when you're designing a Rubik's Cube, you don't design that whole thing. You're just designing like a little portion of that. Um, I'll show you here. Just what you need. You don't need any of this. Just designing this here. And what this is, this is the entire mechanism for the whole puzzle. Basically, once you have this designed, what you're doing is you're going to take this, right, and we, because we know a Rubik's Cube turns in a circle, and it's a rotating motion. So when you have something rotating, like a wheel, a wheel kind of rotates around um, like an axle. An axle is circular. So when a Rubik's Cube rotates, it needs to rotate around a circle, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to take this sketch here, just these lines, and we're going to make an imaginary axis. Now this axis exists in three-dimensional space, right? This is the axis, right? We're going to take this, and we're going to kind of like revolve it around that axis. So we took this, we kind of spin it and spin it, and every time it goes, it kind of leaves a trace. So this here, this line here, will make a nice big disk like that, right? This line here, this line, will make a cylinder. Now this is a surface, it's not making a solid, but it looks like that. Right, and this line here will make another disc, a much bigger disc. Um, this does not make sense to you. That's alright. I'm going to do it on a computer. Hopefully it will be easier to visualize. But this is the basic process. You take this one basic sketch here, and you revolve it around the face. Um, and that basically designs the mechanism. Um, this is basic. This is how you design any puzzle: three by three, and five by five. Um, it's just different cross sections for different puzzles. And the more you work with puzzles, the more you'll start to know which cross sections to pick.